Hello, this is Garvin from FTWLive.com, and what I'm going to show you today is how we use Mixler, which is a one-track audio streaming um, service um, to put on our, our live show. Uh, what Mixler is good at is it if you are a DJ, you can hit play on your music player and stream that music over the internet to all of your listeners. Uh, you can even interact with your listeners in a live chat. Um, it's pretty fantastic. It's also good if you're a one-man podcaster and you want to just uh, put your single voice over the internet in podcast form. But what it's not great at is taking multiple sources of audio and streaming that um, over, its, over its service. What I'm going to show you today is how we accomplish it, uh, even though we're A, using a USB mic, uh, and B, we're not paying for um, a bunch of other different programs or uh, hardware. Um, this is all default Windows functionality. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put a, a time on this to make sure I get this done uh, in a quick time frame. Let's start off with Mixler itself. We're going to set up a broadcast. And like I said, if you were just doing one source, like if you're one person, you can choose microphone and your voice is going to appear over, uh, over Mixler. If you're playing audio, you can use your speakers and whatever you play is going to play over Mixler. But what it struggles in is taking multiple sources. So we're going to, we're going to do this. We're going to do this just through the, the default windows functionality. Uh, and hopefully it works. If you go into uh, your recording devices, a lot of um, tutorials will tell you to use stereo mix. Stereo mix doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for a lot of people, mainly because I'm using a USB mic. Um, I haven't had good uh, results from a regular microphone, so this is what we're doing. This mic sounds perfect. If you go into microphone, the, the properties, you can either double click or right click and hit properties. Uh, go over to listen, and this is the trick, basically. This is, this is how we're going to get this to work. Uh, if you click listen to th this device, it basically allows anything you say over your mic to appear over y the speaker of your choice. The only downfall, and this is why many who do tutorials tell you not to do this, is that there is a quarter second to a half second delay in that sound. So when you speak, you're, you're going to hear, hear it, it. Okay. okay, which, which kind of sucks, sucks, but you know it, it's only doing that for you. The person who is streaming over Mixler, the person who is speaking. It, no one on Skype is going to hear it. No one on Mixler's stream is going to hear it. And that's how, that's how we get around it. So it's not perfect. Um, there are far better solutions if you want to pay the money um, to do that. But we're not going to. This is, we're, just, we're going to hack the system. So let's go ahead and do a live show just so you guys can hear it. Um, and we'll play it back over Mixler as well just so you can hear what that sounds like. Uh, testing Skype and Mixler and um, test broadcast broadcast now all right so we're streaming go ahead and play the intro and welcome, and welcome everyone, everyone to, to a special, special edition, edition of the, of the FTW, FTW podcast. podcast. My, My name, name is Garvin. Garvin. We, are we are testing Mixler, Mixler and Skype and showing, and showing people, people in the screencast how it works, how it sounds. This is this is how we do the show uh, in, in most, most cases. cases. So, so anyways, anyways, let's go, go ahead and bring, bring a Skype, Skype call, call in. in. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. So obviously, obviously you can, you can see, see that, that it's, it's appearing, appearing over Skype. Skype. It's appearing, appearing over Mixler, Mixler. Uh, which is which great. Is great. So obviously, you can see that it's appearing over Skype. It's appearing over Mixler, 
uh, which is great. And that's, and that's it. it. That's, that's the, the show. show. Um, um, obviously, obviously, I hear, I hear an, an echo. echo. Everyone, Everyone who's in the screencast screen hears an echo, an echo and that's awful. But, but it's, okay. it's okay. So anyways, so anyways thanks, thanks for listening. For listening. All right, we're going to go ahead and go and stop and save. Save it. So, obviously, there is that slight delay. That's pretty awful for you, uh, the, um, the, the person speaking. But everyone else is going to be completely fine. We're going to go ahead and uh, bring up Mixler, the show reel. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. And this is going to usually pop up right away. Because I'm trying to hit a deadline, it's not going to. All right. So it shows up. I paused it. It's okay. Anyways, uh, we're going to head and uh, we're going to play it. And welcome, everyone, to a special edition of the FTW Podcast. My name is Garvin. We are testing Mixler and Skype and showing people in the screencast how it works, how it sounds. This is, this is how we do the show. Uh, in most cases. So, anyways, let's go ahead and bring a Skype call in. Hello, welcome to Skype call testing service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. So, obviously, you can see that it's appearing over Skype. All right, so there is no echo over Mixler. No one on Skype heard the echo. Uh, so... That's how we do the show. Um, it's very simple. There is that slight hiccup that you have to get over, which is the the echo. But if you if you can tolerate that enough, this is a perfect solution. Anyways, that's it. Um, once again, my name's Garvin from the FDW Podcast, and thanks for listening.